The uncontrolled shaking. Why is he shaking and I am not? Well, that shaking, for most people it feels actually not cool at all, like it's totally uncontrolled and you want to get rid of that. But actually it's a really amazing reflex of the body that realizes that the leg is too much on one side and pulls it over to the other side. Then you overshoot and you go again to the other side, you overshoot again. You go back, you overshoot. That's why it's shaking so hard. But if you would not have that reflex, the leg would go to one side and you would fall. So be glad that it's shaking. And actually while it's shaking, you're making most progress. Because like the neuromuscular activation is the highest. And while it's shaking, you feel like the leg is getting hot. That means like everything is working in there. And some people want to like, control that shaking by blocking it with the second leg. But this is actually a false friend. You want to gain control, but you block yourself from doing the, the right correction movements. So actually only stand on one leg at the beginning, even though it's shaking, you will progress much faster and you have to master that reflex to really make progress. And who is shaking most? I would say it's bodybuilders. Bodybuilders, they are heavy. That means like they press the line down a lot. They don't have a great coordination, which makes them shake more, but at the same time they have a lot of strength. And because it's you who makes the line shake, it's not the line that wants to shake along. Like you need strength to make the line shake. And so bodybuilders simply shake a lot at the beginning. It's pretty funny to, to watch them. If you really commit, to stand on one leg after three, four minutes, you will already feel a big progress. The shaking will go from this size to this size and not a three, four minutes later, you will only shake a little and it suddenly feels controllable. And that's the moment you should always change to the next longer or next saggier slackline. Don't stay in your comfort zone. Always train a bit out of your comfort zone. And what's also happening is the training effects they don't only happen while you're standing on the slackline, but also like in the hours after your training, even during the sleep. So enjoy the shaking and know that you're progressing with it.